everyone, welcome to researchandy.com, another great presentation. Today we're going to continue our um, series on anti-obesity drug and what are the complications it, go, it can cause. My name is Dr. Pramil and uh, so we're going to pick today's drug is Qsimia. It's a combination of fentaramine and topiramate, okay? It's an anti-obesity drug used in the United States. Now, we're just going to look at the complications. What kind of complications you can expect? You may not get it. Most of this complication, most of them are really rare, but it's good to know before you start taking the drug. You know, unfortunately, if you start having complications with this drug, so you can stop it, you can call the doctor. That's the main reason for this presentation. Um, the first one we need to know, does this, pay, does this drug cause cancer? Okay, that's what we need to know. No, there is no reports of cancer. The Qsimia does not cancer. No reports out there. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to look at it. Does it affect the heart? What are the like the cardiovascular uh, complications? You can get the high blood pressure, like, and then you can feel like the racing heart or irregular heartbeat. Those are the main complications you can expect on the cardiovascular system. Next thing we're going to look at the lungs. How does it affect the lung? It can cause like bronchitis or flu-like symptoms, as um, has been reported. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is like you know the gastrointestinal stomach. Like, I mean, like many of the other products can cause like nausea, vomiting is very common, okay? Now, let's look at the causes of uh, the liver. The liver injury has been reported, especially if you take like anti seizure medication kind of complication. There are reports of uh, hepatic injury or liver injury. Okay. Now the next drugs we need to know about, I mean next system we're going to cover is like the central nervous system or like what, what kind of complication you can have. You can have like numbness, tingling of the hands, feet and the lips and you have to be very careful. One of the very, I mean you know, dangerous thing is like you don't want to abruptly stop this, can cause seizures. So if I have to take one thing away from this lecture, if you stop the drug abruptly, it can produce seizures, okay? Then psychiatry can cause depression, it can cause anxiety, and um, insomnia also common in this people. Um, and then dermatology can cause, it can cause like skin rash, skin rashes have been reported. Um, and then we're going to talk about the neuro, I mean neuromuscular or musculoskeletal, you can have like muscle pain or cramps has uh, also been reported. And um, when you talk about the, um, the urinary system, you can have like decreased urinary output, you can cause like uh, metabolic acidosis, uh, you know, the blood can become, the pH become lower and become acidotic and then can cause like a kidney stones also kind of been reported to these people, okay? When you talk about eye, you can cause like glaucoma because it can increase the pressure in the eye and acute myopia so with the secondary, we call it like secondary angle pressure glaucoma. But you need to know, it can cause like glaucoma. If you have history of glaucoma, be careful, don't take it. Okay, now the last thing we're going to talk about is it, how can I, can I take somebody in pregnancy? No, you cannot take it, okay? It can cause severe complication. Can you lactate. Can I take this drug during lactation? No, you cannot take it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.